In this video, what I'll do is I'll set up the materials for the roof and for the ceiling of the environment. So if I come up here, I can see that you have these roof sections here have no texture. So I'll actually select um, this roof piece over here that you can see. And if it helps, you might want to take lighting off. That way you can see everything in sort of a neutral type of lighting. I'm going to go to the Asset Browser. And uh, the texture that I'm going to look for here is going to be... Let me just look for this here. It's going to be this warehouse roof uh, D diffuse. And there's only a diffuse for this, so that'll work out uh, just fine. I want to use the same material for this rooftop piece over here. The more materials I share, the more optimized my scene's going to be. So I'll take that material, drop it on top of here. There we go. Okay. I'll come inside here. It might help to turn on the textured wireframe view here so you can see the wireframe as well as the textures. I'm going to select the actual ceiling right there and for that I'll just go for diffuse texture. We don't need anything fancy there like normal mapping and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a search for ceiling. Here's my ceiling texture. I'm going to apply that. Okay. I'm going to apply the textures to everything else in the ceiling type area that needs it. So basically these detailed objects like the air ducts over here, I'm going to apply it to that. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use probably a specular shader so I get some specularity there. And I'm going to go to the asset browser. I'm going to look for air duct. And the texture I'm trying to get is air duct A. So I'll click on that. I'll go to the texture itself, tell Unity to generate an alpha from grayscale, hit apply. I'm going to go over here and you can see that there's these uh, pieces right here. These are the air duct vents. So again, I'm going to get a specular shader for that. I'm going to do a search for air duct. And you can see there's air duct B. That's the texture we want. I'm going to go to the texture itself. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an alpha from grayscale. Okay. All right. Let me go to the the ceiling support pieces. Basically, these cross sections on the roof or on the ceiling. I'm gonna go with just diffuse texture for that. That'll work out just fine. I'm gonna do a search for ceiling, and the one I want is ceiling G. So I'll apply that. There we go. Perfect. Um, for these ceiling support pieces, the ones that go kind of north to south here. I'm going to go back and search for ceiling again. This time I'm going to apply ceiling E. So that's this one here. Perfect. So you can see all the textures are being applied. Everything's starting to look much nicer. All right. Uh, we have these cables that kind of hang from the ceiling there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, material to, a texture to that. I'm just going to go with the fuse. That'll be uh, more than good enough. I'm going to look for cables texture. And cables A is what I want. So I'm going to apply this uh, cables texture right there. Okay. All right. So you can see that the uh, texture was actually applied to these cables on the walls there as well. So that takes care of that. The light fixtures. Let me do that real quick. So I'll select the light fixtures here. For the light fixtures, let me try specular shader. And I'm going to look for something with the word lighting in it. So here it is. Okay, I'm going to go to the texture itself, go to the importer settings, generate an alpha from grayscale. Again, as I've mentioned before, you can create these grayscale alphas inside of a 2D image editing software like Photoshop. That's usually the best way to go if you want ultimate control. So then finally, the last uh, sort of main pieces here of the ceiling, the roof, is the skylights that I have up here. So these are broken up into two pieces, basically, the frame and the actual window panels, the glass panels. I'll select the frame first. I'm going to go over here to uh, Skylight. I'm going to search for the word Skylight. And I want to grab this uh, texture right here, Skylight Diffuse. And I'm going to apply that on there. Uh, a simple diffuse texture will actually work pretty good for this. So I'm just going to leave a diffuse texture for that. Now for the actual window panels themselves, let's go over here and let's look for Skylight. And we have this Skylight Diffuse. Now we have a Skylight Windows bump, I have a skylight diffuse and an illuminance map. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the diffuse. 
and apply that. Now the shader that I'm going to choose here, I'm going to go down to self illumination down here. And there's some self, -illuminate, uh, self illuminating shaders that we can use. Basically what these shaders do is they use a special illuminance map that allows an item to look like it's glowing. So if you were doing say a power up for some kind of Super Mario type of platformer game and maybe there's a power up of maybe an energy health bar on the floor and it's supposed to be glowing, you might want to use a self illumination shader. That way it's easy for the player to see that that glowing item is a power up or something like that. In this case, I'm using, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a just a diffuse self illumination and what this will do is you can see immediately it makes the window here look like it's lit up like there's a light inside that's lighting it up like the lights are on in the house so to speak okay and the way this works is pretty simple you have a base RGB you also have a gloss alpha map which you can use if you want so I can take this diffuse texture here to tell it to generate an alpha from grayscale and the main important thing here is the illuminance uh, with an alpha. Basically what you need here is an illuminance map. I'm going to go ahead and select one. If I go to skylight, you'll see that I have this image here, which I've created. It looks like it's really bright. If I select that, you notice the way the image looks. It looks almost like it's really bright, almost emitting this yellowish type of light. And if I check the alpha, you can see it's got this bright black and white alpha, which determines which areas of the image are emitting light okay imaginary light so to speak so I don't want to generate alpha from grayscale because I already have an alpha on this so let me go back to this and then we have this emission light mapper value down here we're not going to actually deal with that right now when we get into light mapping I'll show you how that works but for now we're just going to skip that okay so that pretty much takes care of the entire ceiling and roof area okay so I'm starting to get this done up pretty quickly here I'm going to end this video here and in the next one we'll just continue applying more textures and materials to our scene.